actually had correlation. So like, even when you think of a lot of the upstanding, upstanding men now in culture, like, I'm talking about like just in your neighborhood, it's not in your community, it's not as coaches. And this. I'm not saying that they're perfect, but I'm saying those men now look up to and or listen to a more solid caliber of men versus a lot of people who, you know. And then a lot of the people who did get into trouble with the law and different down the third, they'll tell you they had people trying to tell them to get it together. You know what I'm saying? So part of the onus is on you got to listen. You know what I'm saying? You got to listen. You got to help. You got to help. I thought that was super interesting, man. Just put on there, like, you press to try to lead women. They don't. He said, look at the stats. They don't need. <laughs> they don't need leadership right now. They doing the thing. They owning stuff. They doing stuff. And I'm like, word, word, true. They was getting in it when I was a little kid. I was I come from the single parent structure. When I was a little kid, a lot of the women was the ones figuring it out. Boots on the ground with the kids every day. A lot of dudes been paying bills. That been that been on. Even like my pops, he said I went on child support because <laughs> he said I went downtown to get on child support. Cause I knew I'd get upset and I wouldn't give her nothing, and I was like, <laughs> I respect the honesty, though. I respect the honesty, but a lot of y'all ain't honest about it.